Hey guys, it's Izzy here and today's episode of Vlogtober we are going to be reacting to one of my old YouTube videos from 2017 just to see like how much I've changed and just to get a good laugh so let's get into this video. I'm going to be, re be reacting to is a fe February try on haul. I will leave a link to it down below in the pinned comment if you want to check out the original video without my reaction. So here we go. Hey guys, it's Izzy here. So this is my first try on haul of 2017. So what a good for me. Way, so way too hyped. Um, I had no eyeshadow on, that makes me look kind of crazy. I wish I still looked like that. I know at 20 years old I'm saying that I wish I looked like I was 18 again, but that's the truest thing ever. I had no title sequence or like theme at the start of my videos, so okay, that's our first thing. Okay, first I guess I'll start with Sephora, just for the beauty products I got since I don't really have to try them on. Um, but I am going to do a close-up shot of them. So I got a new beauty blender, just one of your basic Still have ones that. that you see all the time. So it's the original beauty blender. How I have the thing, it's like right in the corner. Like you can't see that. Like put it the full screen, young Izzy. Blender makeup sponge. And it is celebrating 15 years, so that's pretty awesome. And then I haven't tried this yet, but it is the Kat Von D Lock. My favorite concealer, but look at the concealer under my eyes. It does not match my skin at all. I don't think I was wearing foundation at this point. I think I was just like wearing concealer. Okay, concealer cream. And yeah, it's in shade light 11 natural. Let me open this for y'all. <sighs> so here's what the um, bottle looks like. Or have those random pauses, okay. not editing them out. Um, I can't see the close up. Right now. So that is what I got from Sephora. So that's the first things I'm going to show you. And moving on to pants, I got these. This is my first time getting like I love these pants. pants. Hold on, because they so from Billabong. So you can they're actually kind of see them. Jeans, I guess. Um, I don't know. That looks I, cute. I haven't tried any of this stuff on your arm. So me try it on for the first time. And I will have the size and price at the like bottom of the screen. Do you um, I don't see it yet. Sure I got these on sale. And they have a, have some strap stain on the knee. And then I really like the bottoms of them. I'm probably going to wear these um, to something I'm going to in about two weeks, which um, I will be filming at. So you didn't go. go it's a warrior skin. Um, so then for American Apparel, since they are sadly going out of business. Yeah, I um, don't I like those pants at all. To fit, but mom jeans again. Like, They're too loose. I only wore the disco I pants disco once. Pants for so long, and again, hopefully they fit. Because American Apparel stuff, their shorts will fit me, but their long pants never fit me. So hopefully those fit. Because I've been dying, literally dying for years to have disco pants. And like Rena Loveless, um, how wears disco Shout pants? Shout out to Hey Violet. Um, and she looks good in them, so hopefully I look good in them. Now this is in somewhat of an order. It's by stores, um, which I never do. So the first stuff I got is an off-the-shoulder top from Forever 21. I don't I think I've ever worn that. This one with those jeans that I just showed, or the next shirt. Look, I was so cute. A, um, thing I'm going to, if I go, um, I think I'm going to wear the next shirt because I think the colors just go good with the event. Um, no, I hate my so smell. So just this, um, <laughs> is this a chef? It's something like that. I don't know, but I don't own really an off-the-shoulder shirt, um, except for when I got You still it. don't. I love so that shirt. So then again from Forever 21, this is the other shirt I may wear. So that's going to be my poll question. What shirt do you like better? The off the shoulder top or this um, lace and the front top? Vote it, I just so the it. icon will be right up there for you guys to click. But I think the material of this shirt is kind of, it's not weird. It's just different. I've never, it's a woven top um, up close. I don't know. Like it just feels different. I don't own any. 
anything like that. And then um, just a lace in the front, but very in style and trendy at the moment. So yeah, um, a shirt kind of similar to that I got from Billabong. Um, I've not worn that shirt in forever, um, but it's really shirt nice. There's a in Huntington Beach. Um, I don't, I think it is a Billabong store. Like, they have so many good things. It's right, like, basically right on the beach. Um, I totally recommend checking it out. It's right, it's in front of the pier, if you want to check it out. But, um, it's this, this, um, I don't, this is more of pink. Does it have the color name on here? This is just a dream. Um, and all the links to all these products will be linked down below if you guys want to check them out and purchase them. Um, but yeah, this is another lace-up. has polka dots on it, as you can tell. Not how much to say. Um, I really like flowy shirts because um, they're comfortable. I, I don't know if I prefer flowy shirts or tight shirts. So tell tight. me down below in the comments what you guys prefer. So then for Brandy Bell, that top is so cute. Really cute I wore in Miami. I don't know what, how, or um, I'm gonna wear this yet, really, but I think this is really cute. Um, I don't want anything like it again, and it's kind of like scrunchy in the back, so it's like elastic, I guess this would be the word. Um, and I don't know, like, I, I think it kind of looks weird with both of them because when I got it, it was inside. But why would you wear one of these things? I don't know how I wear it. Inside your shirt, because I feel like that would look weird too. But I don't know. <laughs> The last shirt I got is this really, really cool shirt from I wore that on my 18th that, um, birthday, maybe? It's a member of Los birthdays. Angeles. You have um, Topanga Park, Chinatown, Beverly Hills, Belair, Westwood, South LA, downtown, South Park, um, Hawthorne, Manhattan Beach, Venice Beach, Santa Monica, Malibu. I don't know if I said Westwood, but Westwood's on there. You didn't. Um, so I saw this as a really cute graphic tee. Um, cause it's different. You don't really see shirts on maps on them, or at least I don't. I don't know anyone with a shirt like this. So, and it's really soft, obviously. So I am really going to enjoy this shirt, especially knowing like where all that stuff is. And also it has the freeways and all on it. So I just think this is a really awesome shirt. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So moving on to the shoes. Okay. So you can see both of these pairs of shoes in my last video. I will put an icon up there somewhere. Um, I don't have any of these shoes now. I donated both um, pairs. Both I, I thought still this don't. was a good purchase, and it's so it's so beautiful. Um, I don't know, like, and I don't really own I don't own anything velvet. These are the only things from velvet I own because I don't I don't know I don't like the feel of velvet. I still but don't. These, they're a nice feel. Um, so I'm just buckle up like that, and then your toes poke out. I don't have my toes painted <laughs> in the last video, so I mean it may look kind of gross. I don't know. To me, I'm really all natural, so. Yeah. Um, so then these are probably my favorite thing in this whole haul. I wore them at Duke and um, Chapel Hill. They squeezed um, my feet so bad. Well. Last week, I don't know, but it's in my last video. Um, and they are just kind of, is it patent? I think is what the word is. I don't know, but they're kind of like go-go boots. I didn't my dad said. Um, but they, they're so nice. Like, I love them so much. They're kind of a pinkish, whitish color. And then a gold hill, and these are so that easy to walk small. in. I was so scared about that. I didn't get a single blister. And as I said, I was walking around the Duke campus and the UNC campus, and my feet are fine. I didn't get any blisters. It's all Gucci. <laughs> um, so I just love these. Like, they're not even, like, messed up on the bottoms after wearing them. As I said, walking around all day on camp college campuses and it's around the town. Um, but I think these would go good with shorts, or I wore them with jeans because I thought it was going to be cold, but it was like 68 degrees, and oh my gosh, I just like messed up my lipstick, so that is how I'm going to end this video. Okay, so I, I didn't have a ton to say, but I do think I've grown a lot as a person since then. And I hope that video saved. I don't think it did because this phone is stupid. Um, but I, I do think I've come a long way, but at the same time, looks wise, I don't look as good as I did back then, which I mean, I'm fine with how I look now, but I do think I look better back then. But 
And it's fun to go back and look at my old videos, see how my makeup has changed. I'm not wearing any makeup today, but just seeing how much everything has changed and which clothes I still have and don't have. Like, it seems like the stuff I was really excited about, I don't own anymore. And the stuff that I was not as excited about, I still own and still wear to this day. So impulse buying, yeah, I do that a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.